I think I'm losing my mind Trying to stay inside the lines Good morning, Rocks! Hope you had a great four-day weekend. I'm Kayla. And I'm Katie. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Face, Face the flag. flag. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Ready? Begin. Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Hey, Rio Hawks! I'm Elizabeth. I'm Avery. And I'm Peyton. We're from Rio ASB. Today we have the Jenga tournament, but this time it's actually a Jenga. So we have House Griffin and House Snow, and two people from each house are going to be on both sides, and they have seven minutes to play Jenga. So the rules of the game are each person takes a block out of the tower and puts it on top, but they're not allowed to take the blocks off of the top row. And after five minutes, they're going to have ten seconds to do it. Um, on this side, we're going to have House Griffin and Carter from House Snow. And on this side, we're going to have Tari from House Griffin and Josh from House Snow. Okay. Okay. Are you guys ready? Alright. Have fun. Okay, so, so far, no one has knocked on the tower, and it looks like they're very serious. Okay, you guys have five minutes left. Two minutes, we have two minutes left. Oh, one. Okay. Next person has 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Ten seconds again for the next person. Fifteen seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. All right, so go, let him go get the. How do you feel about this really tough competition? Fun. I love playing Django. This is like the most fun I've ever had, man. I loved it. And how did you feel about winning? Stressed out. Good job, guys! Yeah. <laughs> Here's the traditions, holidays, and Heroes Council to learn about why we had a four-day weekend. Hey, hey Riverhawks! Yesterday, February 21st, was President's Day. As you know, we had a four-day weekend because of this federal holiday. This is when we celebrate and commemorate our first president, George Washington's birthday, along with many other honorable presidents. This was the first national holiday to celebrate the life of an individual American, George Washington. But did you know President's Day never falls on the actual birthday of any American president? It is always celebrated on the third Monday of February. The Uniform Monday Holiday Bill passed by Congress in 1968 and shifted a number of federal holidays to Mondays. This was intended to schedule specific holidays so that workers would have a number of long weekends throughout the year, 
but it has been criticized by people who feel that holidays should be observed on the actual dates they fall on. During the bill's debate, it was suggested that Washington's birthday be renamed President's Day to honor both Washington's February 22nd and Lincoln's February 12th birthdays. The name change was rejected by Congress after much debate, although President's Day became the widely accepted title after the bill went into force in 1971 due to businesses' use of the name to boost sales and the holiday's proximity to Lincoln's birthday. This is a holiday to celebrate the lives of all the U.S. presidents that have served our country. Happy belated President's Day! Now, now back, back to, to the studio. studio! Let's send it over to Ava to see what's happening this week in history. Hey Rio, and welcome back to This Week in History. I'm your host, Ava. On February 20th, 1877, Tchaikovsky's ballet Swan Lake was premiered. It didn't have success at first, but now it is one of the most famous ballets ever to be performed. On February 21st, 1848, Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels published the Communist Manifesto. The Communist Manifesto is a provocative political document stating that workers should have ownership of the means of production. On February 22nd, 1732, President George Washington was born. You might already know this, but he was the commander of the Continental Army and helped the United States gain independence from Britain. On February 25th, boxer Muhammad Ali became the world heavyweight champion by knocking out Sonny Liston. Muhammad is now known as one of the greatest boxers of all time, partially because of that moment. And finally, on February 26, 1919, President Woodrow Wilson established the Grand Canyon National Park. That's all for this week, and we'll see you next time on This Week in History. This week in clubs and activities, Math Counts is meeting in P5, and the Genshin Impact Club is meeting in B4. Now, here's ASB to report the current house standings. Hello Riverhawks, this is Rio ASB reporting the current house standings. These results are based on the points students earned for their houses. In 8th place is House Gnome. In 7th place is House Pegasus. Tied for 6th place are Houses Phoenix and Kraken. In 4th place is House Sphinx. And now for the 3 houses in the lead. In 3rd place is House Yeti. In 2nd place is House Dragon. And that means we have House Griffin in 1st place. Congratulations, House Griffin. We'll be back next week to give you all an update. Go Riverhawks! The countdown to NAEP testing is underway. We are only two days away from our first day of NAEP testing on Thursday, February 24th, where some of our 8th graders will sit down to take this important assessment to measure our nation's educational progress. Students and teachers, if you have any questions, please reach out to Ms. August, our school's NAEP coordinator. Thank you! Now, let's check in. Now here's question of the week with last week's question. Last week was Counselor Appreciation Week, so here's what we like about our counselors. So who's your counselor and what do you like about them? Uh, my counselor is Miss Ferry and I love her. She's really nice. Oh, my counselor is Miss Ferry too and I really like her because she's like super nice and energetic. Thank you, Mrs. Ferry, for all the work you do here. I like Mrs. Ferry because she's a nice counselor and she's just, like, a really good person overall. I like Miss Racina because she's really nice and helps me when I need something. Uh, I like I have Miss Racina and I she helped me a lot to switch my elective, so I'm really grateful for her. Mrs. Racina and she's nice. I'm grateful for Miss Ferry because she's very nice. My counselor is Mrs. Ferry, and the reason why I like her is because she's always available to talk. Um, Miss Racina and she helps me when I'm stressed out. Uh, my counselor is Mrs. Ferry, and one thing I like is that she's really kind, and during the speech competition, she was one of my biggest cheerleaders. My counselor is Mrs. Racina, and I like Mrs. Racina because she helps you, and she's really, really nice. Thank you! Today's Daily Dose of Positivity is say goodbye to your inner critic, and take this pledge to be kinder to yourself and others. Oprah Winfrey. That's it for today! I'm Kayla. And I'm Katie. And, and we'll, we'll see you next time on Rio TV. TV.